Okay, so I've just come inside the old Melbourne jail and uh, as soon as you step in, actually if you've never been in a jail before, which luckily I haven't, you get a very grim feeling about the place, even though it's now just a tourist attraction and open for visitors. It's dark, it's gloomy, you can imagine what it would have been like to actually have been in here one of the cells. I'm just doing a walking tour of the jail. This is the story of the first executions of two Aborigines for murdering, some supposedly murdering two whalers. Very small. You can see. Okay, so this is what I've uh, come to the um, old Melbourne jail to see. Ned Kelly, some of the exhibits talking about Ned. And they've got a story here in one of the cells. And as you come round the corner, taking place. Sent as a warning what would happen to you if you did bad things in these days. You can see here the device for opening the trap. We'll go upstairs and have a look at it in a minute. And apparently he wasn't kept in the jail here. He was in the hospital in the courtyard or was in the courtyard because he had a lot of bullet wounds when he arrived. He had fingers missing, shot in the foot and he only just really survived to be hung. And this is his death mask. He's speaking in quite hushed tones because it is almost a place of reverence. Although, believe it or not, it sounds incredible. One of the ladies, one of the um, sort of tour guides looking after the place says they're now holding weddings in here. People are booking weddings, can not believe it? to be used by Sergeant Steele, the guy responsible for capturing Ned Kelly. That's a Colt revolver from 1851, American of course. The old percussion cap revolvers. And 
this is the last gun to be used by Ned Kelly at the siege of Glenrown. It was taken from Senior Constable George Devine during the famous Joel Eagle out of bank robbery. Bullet chip the bot also shattered Kelly's little finger in his right hand. So, we've just come up from the ground floor. We've got a picture here of the trap. And the big beam with the, with the noose was some. So this is where Ned Kelly and a lot of others that is in. Positioned on the trap with a noose around his neck. And there's the lever that sent him to his death. We can have a last look at the light through the window. And he was reputed to say such is life. And so when he saw his last look of light, I wonder what went through his mind. Whether he'd wasted his life or whether the cards were dealt for him anyway.